The Victorian government has placed itself firmly at odds with Canberra on social policy, pledging to maintain the controversial Safe Schools anti-bullying program. The state will not adopt the changes announced by Canberra yesterday and will lose federal funding for the program. The Safe Schools program has been debated and cut back in Canberra, but Victoria is not listening. We'll be rolling out Safe Schools to every government secondary school as we promised. And if the feds pull out this funding, uh, we'll ensure that we fund it in full. The state government is going to continue the anti-bullying program, which it says teaches acceptance and tolerance. By making these changes, you're going to make schools a much safer place for LGBT students all across Australia. The recommendations from the Turnbull government completely undermine the Safe Schools program and we won't accept that in Victoria. It means Canberra will not pay for Victoria's program. The Victorian government obviously can fund whatever programs it wishes. Uh, Minister Simon Birmingham has uh, responded responsibly and carefully in the light of an independent review of the program. Mr Andrews is more about political propaganda than looking after protecting children at his schools for which he's got responsibility, so that's disappointing. The Victorian coalition is siding with its federal colleagues. Daniel Andrews has got it wrong. He needs to now listen to the recommendations to allow parents and school communities to decide whether or not this program is run in their schools. I mean, what's wrong with allowing parents to make the decision? But one parent group says it's adult hysteria about a program meant for kids. The program has been um, in our schools for quite some years now uh, with bipartisan support in Victoria and I think the fact that this hysteria that has erupted um, is more so around a political agenda and that is not helpful to our youth. She said parents who are concerned should speak to their schools and their kids and keep politics out of the playground. Stephanie Anderson, ABC News.